اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم how to find new research gaps in this session we are going to look into how to find new gaps for your research now a particular focus of this session is to find new variables for your research so the gaps will revolve around finding a new relationship assessing a new relationships maybe through inclusion of different mediators or a moderators within a study now there are other forms of gaps as well there could be different kinds of analytical gaps there could be methodological gaps but this particular session is only focusing on finding new variables for your research let's say we have two variables we have a variable x and variable y that is i've got an independent variable and i've got a dependent variable now the first thing that you need to do is is there any existing research on the relationship between x and y so that you go on maybe through google scholar or through web of science and find out if there is any research that links the two variables for instance let's write corporate social responsibility and performance enter so now we've got papers on corporate social responsibility and performance so there are number of studies that have been performed on corporate social responsibility and performance in smes financial performance financial performance now you can open these papers have a look that what were their findings did they find a significant impact of x on y did they find insignificant or maybe no impact at all now for example let's go to the next point and then we can come back and discuss this now that we have found that there is existing research on x and y we need to find whether there are any contradictions in existing research that is let's say the relationship between csr and performance is not all the times positive there could be a negative impact as well of a csr on performance or maybe research found no significant relationship between the two variables if that is the case this means that there are contradictions in existing research and this means there is a need for further research now you need to read through those papers and identify if they have explained or tried to find out any particular reason for these contradictions maybe they are proposing some mediators to explain the relationships or some moderators to explain why the relationship is being moderated now what are the or why are there any contradictions again you have to read through those papers their discussion and find out what are the particular reasons that they have provided that shows that there are contradictions and why there are any contradictions now what is the solution what are the recommendations see the last section of the paper let's say we go back here and we check on the latest papers let's go for all results maybe let's say we open this paper let's say this paper the pdf let's say we open this paper as well now what we can do is let's first look at the model in the paper so here is the model and they've got this cump competence as is an independent variable influencing csr csr influencing fp now they have taken an antecedent of csr this is interesting because majority of the papers do not take antecedents of a csr so you can look into the future research direction and let's see if they have identified any new variables board competencies on csr now 
now they haven't recommended any new variables but again you can look at the future research directions of other papers as well let's look at this paper its model here CSR and these two mediators sustainable performance and let's look at their research or future research directions so they are recommending a longitudinal study They haven't recommended any new mediator or moderator so again keep looking it's not that easy that you'll maybe you get lucky the first time but again in most of the times uh, you will have to go through papers and see their limitations and future research directions to find the recommendations for future research now this is another paper csr performance and these are the mediators Let's look at the future research directions. Now, here is the recommendation. Green human resource management and green climate as moderators in the relationship between this. Now, again, you will have to go back to Google Scholar and see if these particular moderators have already been assessed now again if they have already been assessed this will be a replication study if you include the same moderators so once you find the recommendation go back to google scholar or web of science or scopus and see if that research has already been done so again you can just simply come back here and write here let's say human resource management and this will give you the papers that are there on CSR and human resource management. So, yes, there are a few papers. Maybe you open these papers and see how and what they have done. And maybe you can do something differently. So, this is how you can find some new gaps. Now, future research directions uh, will recommend some mediators on, and, or moderators uh, just as uh, we witnessed now see if those have not been studied in existing research and why they should be studied now again it is not just that somebody has recommended it and you're doing it you have to explain identify the reasons for studying those variables as well now again other than finding new variables you can find new measures for those variables as well now existing research may only have focused on unidimensional measures you may assess the relationship based on multiple dimensions and that in itself is a gap as well. So this short session would have helped you understand how to find a new research gaps. In future, we can have more sessions on finding methodological gaps or analytical gaps as well. Thank you very much.